I used to be a professor that didn't allow technology in my classrooms. Then last spring we went online and technology became the classroom and I had to learn and change a lot. Now, as we prepare for an all modes fall, I'm actually really excited about the possibility of learning to think together in online spaces. One thing I'm particularly excited about is something called live research. Live research is current events focused research that involves the whole class. It's inspired by ethnography, grounded in theory, and involves students going out to electronic public spaces such as Twitter to gather data. I think we're gonna do a lot of thinking together through this method and other things that I'm working on, and it's gonna be a great semester. You will learn the course material at home, in the classroom, in a cafe, and even in your residence hall. Regardless of the modality, the academic excellence is still present. There are many things that you need in your toolbox to be a successful student. You must connect with professors. They are a valuable resource and they teach you the information for you to learn. But engage with them so that you can actively learn. Join a student organization. You're just not an academic or an intellectual person. You need to develop your leadership skills and combine those intellectual and leadership skills to become a full and well-rounded student. Although the summers for an R&R, &R, the faculty is preparing for the fall semester. We have some really great innovative ideas to bring you guys a really great education online or in face-to-face. -face. Uh, we look forward to seeing you guys in the fall. The best of luck to you guys. Hope to see you guys soon. Contemporary art jewelry is about so much more than just decoration. You can use your body as a subtle or not so subtle billboard. Material choices are endless, as are the opportunities for self-expression. This semester, students will be invited to use readily available materials that support their ideas or find materials that might spark conversation. What might you want to say with a piece of worn art? We know you are now receiving information about your courses regarding in-person meetings and online meetings, and we wanted to give you some information about your laboratory courses. After careful consideration, most faculty have come to the conclusion that it would be very difficult to meet as a group in the laboratory while maintaining social distancing. Your health and safety are our main priorities. During the summer, your professors are working hard to ensure that the simulated labs we will be offering in the fall will be of the highest quality, informative, and very interesting. We also want you to know that there are numerous lab courses to take in your second, third, and fourth year in our program, as well as opportunities to work with faculty in their labs doing research. We are looking forward to meeting you all in person or virtually in the coming weeks. Please reach out to us if you have any concerns or questions. I'm really excited to tell you about my course in advertising in the fall. This course was always taught as a project-based course centered around a core project. But what's really exciting this time around is we're going to leverage our SI2 expertise and do a real project for a real client to solve their real world current problems. This way you get an opportunity to apply the concepts into solving real world problems. And this project, because we are leveraging SI2, is going to focus on the social slash nonprofit sector. I'm really excited for the fall to begin. For my fall 2020 Parks and Rec Leadership and Power of Local class, we'll be connected in so many ways, including the medium of visuals. An example of this is Photo Voice, which is an adaptive and empowering strategy that combines photography and grassroots social action. Students will have the ability to explore opportunities at the localized level and to see how change can happen in their own backyard. Our clinical year students have been unable to enter clinical settings and so we made a virtual rotation website. On this website we house case studies, simulation cases, and even a case writing uh, assignment. And then they are matched with faculty preceptors where they meet weekly and do role playing. In the role playing, each uh, student will both act as a patient and then act as a physician assistant where they will collect a history and physical on their virtual patient. And then as a team, we discuss assessment and plan items. We don't all have studios like I do. And so what? You have stories to tell. So let's get down to telling them. Time to disrupt the roadblock to your creativity. Bypass knowing all the answers by finding narrative and the questions. And most importantly, above all else, 
get out of your way. To wonder, to be imperfect, to be authentic, wherever you are with whatever you have, it's time we supercharge your power, your power to, play. to play. Most first years in honors will start their academic experience in EN 101H. And we've been working for quite some time with the English faculty to develop a new academic experience. Students in this class are going to be working on a combined storytelling festival. They're going to be reaching out to community members, faculty, staff, um, alumni, community partners. So in this particular experience, students are gonna be able to use their own talents, their own strengths to find a way to highlight the various connections that they have when they're interviewing community. And they're gonna showcase it in a way that feels important and real to them and for the rest of us to enjoy the experience of the storytelling festival as it grows over the course of the semester. We're really excited to bring this opportunity to our first years and we can't wait to see what you do with it.